for returning to part three of this three-part series. And for those of you just tuning in, thank you. Hey everyone, it's Ross here at Northern Technology Services, and welcome to Security Threats in 2020. Thank you for returning to part three of this three-part series. And for those of you just tuning in, thanks for joining us. So today we're going to be discussing the most prominent and dangerous threats to your business's success in 2020 and how you can help protect yourself today and moving into the future. Because we all know how important the protection of your information is to your business's digital success. This information could be as simple as just names and addresses, or maybe you store the credit card and billing records of your customers and clients on file. This information is like gold, not only for the success of your business, but also to the cyber criminals out in the ether who would steal it and use it for their own gains. So without further delay, let's dive right in. Alrighty, so security threats in 2020. So today's topic, we're going to discuss fewer IT specialists. Because we all know that we've made peanut butter and jelly sandwiches before. But what's worse is when you find out you just don't have enough peanut butter. So you take what's left, you scrape it out really good, and you spread it out in the sandwich, and then you go to take a bite, and then you realize you might as well just be eating a jelly sandwich. That is the current state of the cybersecurity world today. So who are these IT specialists? IT specialists come in many forms. They're trained in the latest technology to keep you up to date on the tech world. Oftentimes they're working together as an MSP, which stands for a managed service provider, to be able to provide a proactive versus reactive solution to help businesses. Over the last seven years roughly, the number of IT graduates has been steadily decreasing as the IT field grows nearly 22% per year. So what do they do? What do these IT specialists do for your business? First off, they implement new products and procedures to help your business. They monitor your systems for weak points and potential threats. They maintain your systems and processes to keep you up to date with the current technology. And they defend your systems against data breaches, viruses, and other harmful occurrences like ransomware and phishing, which we've discussed in the past two videos. So what does this mean for your business with fewer IT specialists? With with this, basically, that means finding in-house IT is becoming more and more extremely difficult as there's a decreased talent pool to find an experienced specialist. And with this, there's also more of a reduced skill set with many technicians and specialists who are poorly educated on today's tech. A lot of the DIY techs out there, um, you know, people that are just kind of going by what they figure out off Google, YouTube, and so forth. And then if this trend continues, the cost to annually hire an in-house IT specialist could drastically increase because in order to find somebody that has that experience and that knowledge and that capability, they're going to want more money, more benefits to come aboard and work in-house for you. So how can an MSP be better than a DIY IT? So one big thing here with MSPs, um, you know, especially with Northern Technology Services, we are an MSP, a managed services provider, is we work to stay up to date, um, constantly learning, constantly diving into things happening around us uh, from new technologies, emerging technologies. Um, one of the big things that happened recently was that push to remote workforce and learning and staying ahead of that curve and being prepared to help move our clients over to this working remote environment. We have a large group of resources and MSP works with a multitude of different vendors, uh, different groups and so forth. Uh, for example, I communicate on a daily basis with probably about a thousand other IT providers, not only across the US but across the globe with different channels and forms of communication. Reducing costs for staying compliant because MSPs work with other businesses and 
have this multitude of tools on a much larger scale than you may need for just your business, we're able to provide a lot of these tools for a lot less of that initial cost without that big of an upfront investment by passing that along to you guys. And training, offering training and testing, not only for yourself, but for your employees to help teach them and keep them safe. So now this was a short video here as we kind of wrap this up and wrap up this series. So with the fewer IT specialists out there, that means there's a big push to using a managed services provider to help your business excel with technology. So what does an MSP stand for? Now, if you're watching this, you're from Michigan, you might be thinking, you know, Michigan State Police or maybe Minnesota State Police, you know, something along those lines. But no, in this case, we're talking a managed service provider which focuses on that proactive versus reactive, as well as brings the tools and training needed to help your business at a reduced cost. So which of the following is not listed in this presentation does an IT specialist do? Implement, defend, monitor, drywall, or maintain? All right, so this was kind of a simple one. I'm, or at least I'm hoping you assume that we don't do drywall work. I personally, I've tried this myself at home. I don't do that great of a job, so don't ask me to do your drywall for you, but I do have a person for that. So IT specialists focus on implementing the right tools and technology, defending your network, monitoring your network, making sure things are safe and secure, as well as maintaining your network to help minimize downtime and increase the producti productivity for you and your team. So true or false, using an MSP will increase your compliancy costs. That is false. The uses of an MSP will decrease your costs. And again, this is because the, we have this huge investment already made into the tools and the processes and the training that we can, can bring to your business and provide for your business to help speed things along at a reduced rate. The average in-house IT salary is around forty to sixty thousand dollars. When you work with an MSP, you're looking at average costs of around twenty thousand dollars annually for you know say a fifty device environment, or you know getting upwards to maybe a hundred device environment. And that is why an MSP and partnering with an MSP is an excellent choice if you're a small to medium-sized business. So as we wrap up the end of this segment and we wrap up the security threats in 2020, I just want you to keep in mind and just know that technology grows and changes every day. And with that comes new threats for your cybersecurity. No one wants to be left in the dust when it comes to the cyber world and running a business already leaves you with enough challenges. So wouldn't it be nice to know that cybersecurity was one less thing you have to worry about? So as we close out the last piece of this three-part series, I want to leave you with one question. Is your business safe? I want you to reach out to an IT provider near you or feel free to reach out to us and give us a call and let somebody come in and just provide you just a complete network review and overhaul and see where some of these pain points may be at and how these could be relieved from you. So make sure to follow us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram at MTS Managed. If you haven't yet, check out the other videos that we've got here, uh, part one and part two, where we talked about ransomware and phishing. And thank you for joining us, and stay tuned as we've got lots more great content like this to come. So thanks for watching. This is Ross from Northern Technology Services.